This is the first experimental recording of Mouth Words. I am Austin. I'm Akono. And thanks for tuning in. You must have a lot of time on your hands. And speaking of a lot of time, we definitely haven't had... <clears throat> Sorry. We haven't had much of that lately. We're just now getting around to recording this podcast. Um, Austin's been sick for the last, I would say, several months, probably. <laughs> well, I mean, I was, it, it, I went back and forth between being sick and being injured. Oh, that's true. You've had that sprained ankle on and off. Well, I too. started. It started in December. I had a sprained ankle. Yeah. And then I got over that. And then at the beginning of January, I got sick. <laughs> yeah. And then sometime in mid February. I sprained my ankle again, and then in the middle of that, got fucking sick, and yeah. then sprained my ankle. God damn it! To be fair, between February and right now, I don't think your ankle ever actually got better. I think it just got less sprained, and then got more sprained again, randomly. Yeah, that's that's a sign that you live under a sadistic god. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You never actually get better, and then it just gets worse. I'm never going to be better. Why? This is my new life. This is exactly this is what my I'm, new life. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Men are whiny when they're sick and injured. All uh, they do is whine about it. <laughs> like, well, I mean, I'm good for like the like the, the like different. Okay, so when I get sick, it's like day one to day three, I'm good, and then day like six to eight, I'm good. But then like day like. Day like four and five, I'm kind of a little bitch. No, it's more like you're a little bitch until you get better. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's. I will agree that it's the first like two or three days you're fine. I mean, day one, day one, you're just kind of like, Ugh, I'm sick. I'm going to be sick. I know I'm going to be sick. I feel it. I feel it coming on. <laughs> It's gonna be and it's like day like one day like two and day three, you're kinda like Oh yeah, symptoms are on full swing. I just go drink my liquids and get my rest and I'll just be back on my feet in no time. But then like day like four and five, at least for me, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, this is it. This is my life now. I'm terminal. <laughs> This isn't gonna go away. <laughs> this isn't gonna go away. I need you to take care of me, mommy 2.0. <laughs> yeah, no, that's Freudian, and men do that too. They get super Freudian with their wives. All of a sudden, we're mommy, and then they want us to take care of them. And it's always like that from like day three until they get better at the end. And that could be days, that could be weeks, who the hell knows? That could be forever, according like to them. A, see? Terminal! According to them. Except nothing you ever get is terminal. You get things like the flu, the cold, but a by cough. Day, but by, like, day five, I don't remember when it, what it's like to not have the flu, or the cold, or the cough. <laughs> the cough sounds like a sex thing. I mean, if you do it right. But no, I mean... You don't remember what it's like because I think you elect to not remember what it's like because only a mental patient would have that shitty of memory. No, because the days blur together. That's They're probably blurry. true. It's blur. <laughs> You're just, you don't understand. <laughs> You don't understand what it's like for me to be sick because when you're sick, it's just the polar opposite. You're like, I'm sick. I'm going to work. Bye. Fuck you. <laughs> and you just like, you could like, <laughs> you could like go out the door and just be like, hold on a sec. And then vomit blood <laughs> all over the walls and the ceiling. <laughs> and you're just like, okay, bye. And then you <laughs> leave. And then you, you'll call at lunch and be like, I had like a piece of sheet metal for lunch. <laughs> You turn into this just, like, weird, <laughs> overcompensating hard ass. <laughs> I don't get it. It makes no sense. I think that's just what happens when people get sick. They just become their opposite personality or something. Well, yeah, because, like, on a normal day, on a normal day, you're like, I want to, like, 
cuddle under a blanket and eat Hagen dazs and watch watch movies and cry into a bowl. Hagen dazs. <laughs> Hagen dazs to ice cream. <laughs> You're just like, I want to eat hog and dawes under a blanket and watch romance movies and cry into a bowl of bread. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck about anything. I don't give a fuck about, I don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about anything. But then I get sick and I just like, I want the whole world to take care of me. <laughs> My mom said that I was a special pumpkin. <laughs> I need to be protected. <laughs> Can you imagine if we were both sick at the same time? That would be a nightmare. Because oh, then it would just be like, for me, it would be like, oh, I'm sick. Can you get me some Sprite? And you'd be like, yeah, I'll get you some Sprite, you pussy. <laughs> Only one of those is a hyperbole, though. Me. You are not the hyperbole here. <laughs> you are actually like that when you're sick. Like, I'll get you some Sprite, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you some Sprite. Oh, God. And you come back with like a two liter, you throw it at my sickly <laughs> face. <laughs> You're like, drink up, Mary Jane. <laughs> and I'm like, that was uncalled for. No. Slightly sexist. Slightly sexist. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't know why you would say that to me <laughs> no i definitely bring it sprite though because sprite cures everything i thought robitussin cured everything no, that's what sprite. chris rock said no i mean chris rock that's a different that's a different demographic when you're white and you're sick that's true like that's what that's what I feel like every single... I don't even think they talked about it. I think they just all collectively were like Sprite, Pepto, and Salt Crackers. Exactly. And we have all three of those. Except, well, I guess we don't have Sprite right now. <clears throat> but we should. Why? I don't know. Because... Sprite is delicious. That's true. Sprite is delicious. Especially when you put even more sugar in it. You know what else is delicious? Mm, sugar. Just sugar. <laughs> just a bowl of sugar. I was going to say grape juice. You know, I remember a Dave Chappelle routine where he was talking about how, like, grape juice is, like, the stereotypical white dude drink. Yeah. And it scared the shit out of me because I was drinking grape juice while I was watching. I almost shat my pants. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably even funnier because, like, you don't even drink grape juice that often. Right, like... It's probably not even your favorite. You just have I don't it even time. think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think about grape juice. Grape is just the weirdest flavor, honestly. Like, sometimes it's just super grainy, you, and sometimes it's delicious. You know what flavor's bullshit? What? Cherry. Cherry's bullshit. To you it is. Cherry's, no, it's just bullshit. <laughs> if you like cherry, you're just fucking wrong. Cherry has caused me so much pain and suffering over the years. You want to know why? Because whenever, you're, fuck you. Fuck, I'm listening. Fuck the look on your face. I'm listening. I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> Cherry's caused me so much pain and suffering over the years. <laughs> because whenever... Now, I love strawberry. Like, that's like one of my favorite fruit flavors. Yeah, strawberry's delicious. One of my favorite fruits. I love strawberry. But whenever people flavor shit, cherry or strawberry, doesn't matter, they fucking flavor it red. Yeah. So it's it's a gamble. And this is either going to be delicious or it's going to taste like nasty shit. I will say that strawberry is way better than cherry. I like cherry personally, but I will say strawberry is way better than cherry. Strawberry is sweeter. Strawberry is way sweeter than cherry. Berry's kind of got a bitter flavor to it. They got to get used to that. Or not. One of the most insulting moments of my life was when we went over to your parents' house one day <laughs> for dinner. And your mom was like, I have this thing for dinner and cherry pie for dessert. I was like, I always knew you were a bitch. I mean, to be fair, she didn't know you didn't like cherry pie. I said it. When? I made that known. I mean, did you though? I did. Oh. Swear to God. 
Fair. I don't like cherries. I don't like meatloaf. I don't like peas. Those are like my three top no foods. I want kale. Hmm? Kale's bullshit. Everybody thinks kale's bullshit, though. No, vegans don't. There's a lot but, of vegan recipes of kale. <clears throat> yeah, but that's vegans. That's true. Vegans are horrible. <laughs> Bye, vegan listeners. Who's listening to this shit in the first place? <laughs> Get therapy. <laughs> Love yourself. <laughs> But no, really though, I will say that meatloaf is kind of weird. Like, I I do like meatloaf, but if you don't make it right, it's just kind of gross. The idea of meatloaf is gross. Wrap your head around it though. This is somebody one day, once upon a time, this is the story of meatloaf. Once upon a time, there was somebody in a house somewhere. It was probably the 50s or some shit. That's when they made all that nasty crap. I mean, jello and mayonnaise. But anyway, somebody was in a house somewhere and they were like, oh, what can I do with all this ground hamburger meat? Oh, I know. I'm going to just form it into a loaf. Like bread. I'm going to throw it in the oven. And we're going to eat it. It's going to have this nasty, grainy texture with a bland flavor. And just to just just to prove that I'm a lunatic, I'm gonna put ketchup on top first, and then I'm gonna throw it in the oven and I mean, bake it. And we're all gonna we're all gonna eat it. It's gonna be an American staple. To be fair, hamburgers are made out of the same thing, and you put ketchup on those. But you put it on when it's done cooking, though. This yeah. sick, twisted human being put the ketchup on the meatloaf, the raw meat. And then put it in the oven so that way it could infuse into the loaf of meat. Yeah. That is a weird concept. And then I think there was somebody who was like, oh, I think I can save it if I mix brown sugar in. And maybe like that Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Wolfenstein, whatever the fuck it's called, sauce. (laughs) Wolf, Nazi sauce. But it didn't help. Did it help? No. No. It didn't. Yeah, because you no. basically put barbecue sauce on top of it at that point. And you'd think barbecue sauce would help a chunk of meat. That's how bad meatloaf is, is barbecue sauce won't save it. Why do we still make this? But meatloaf is tastefully not any different than a burger. It's just not as firm as a burger. A burger is a small little disc of what is technically meatloaf but it's just a small little disc and you put like lettuce and tomato and onion and all manner of other shit on it and you have french fries with it and it's good and it's right and it's wholesome and it represents love that is not what meatloaf is but when you slice meatloaf up you get little discs no yeah no this is just bullshit your argument is this devil's advocate garbage. This is a devil's advocate. This I'm just saying, when you slice meatloaf, you get little discs. And it would be... But, like, it's still like you get the inside, but it's on the outside. You know what I mean? Like, when you get a burger, it's all charred all around the outside. So yeah. you have the outside is, you know, nice and charred. And then the inside is, like, moist and juicy. True. The last time I had meatloaf was pretty disgusting, to be honest. Thank you! I don't remember where I had it from. No, I remember. It was Cracker Barrel. I had meatloaf at Cracker Barrel, and it wasn't good. I only like one thing at Cracker Barrel, though. The... I like leaving Cracker Barrel. You also like their big, juicy cheeseburgers. I'm only human. Those are delicious cheeseburgers, though. They put, like, nine pieces of cheese on those or something. Well, it is Cracker Barrel. Yeah? I mean, I'm surprised they don't put more. I'm surprised they don't just give you a block of cheese. That'd be cool. Oh, you could take some cheese home. No. Have some cheese with your cheese. I'm just going to take this block of cheese and I'm going to deep fry it seven times. And then I'm going to pour some 
Salsa con queso. Salsa con queso. I'll only top of it there, and then maybe I'll put some chocolate sauce on it. I'll deep fry it again, and I'll shove it up my butt hole. <laughs> That's how you absorb things the fastest is in your butt hole. It is. If you want to get really drunk, and I'm not, I'm not saying that you should do this. Yeah. In fact, you probably shouldn't. You know what? Disclaimer, don't. <laughs> I'm just going to say explicitly don't do this. Yeah, don't do that. But if you want to get really drunk, you do like what they did in the Jackass movie. Oh, Lord, you yeah. You take a funnel, shove it up your bunghole, <clears throat> pour booze in it. Yeah, don't do it. That is a great way to get yourself probably really sick. <sighs> don't do it. Yeah, don't. I'm only saying don't do it because I don't want to get in trouble for it. Yeah. I'll be completely transparent about that. Yeah, um, but just don't do it. Like, just don't. <clears throat> that sounds terrible. Jackass is such a crazy movie. Oh, I or miss I guess, it, like, it's a show, too. I miss it, though. Yeah. We should recreate it. No. We should try all those stunts here at home. Not under the supervision of professionals. No, we're not going to recreate it. You know what's a better show, though? Viva mm. La Bam. Because it was kind of like Jackass, but with like a little more of a plot. I do miss that show. That is a great show. Did I have to replace those movies or or those DVDs, or did we did you did you still have them? I had to replace them. Okay. You're talking about that time that. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I this like, is a story. I'm talking about that time that like when I was out here, and then was going back to California and had to ship my video games and my movies out through the mail. Mm-hmm. And then when I got there, they were on the porch, and I opened up, the, I picked up the box, and the bottom was open, and all the shit, and it was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and was, I was like, that was probably the most angry I've ever heard you. I was at the, I was, I was just ready to run to the next living thing and kill it. Well, I mean, thousands of dollars in crap was just gone. Maybe not thousand, but like a thousand. That was still ridiculous, though. That was absolutely ridiculous. And then I went to the police, and they're like, "Okay, what was stolen?" And I told them, and they just were kind of they're like, "Okay," but they said "okay" in that way that was like, "I am not even gonna fucking try to do this," <laughs> which is, I guess, fair. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. But still, I walked over here. God damn it! Oh, you walked to that police yes. station. Yes. Okay, yeah, that would make me mad. What do you even do with shit like that? What? What do you even do in a situation where it's like, yeah, I understand why you're not going to do this, but at the same time, it was a lot of trouble for me to get here to ask you to do it? I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do in that instance. What are you supposed to do that? It's like when I found that um, cancer fighting cookbook in my dad's apartment after he died from cancer. Mm. that's not something that you want to think about too much no one knew what to do i was like i'll take it and then i'll figure out what to do with it don't think you ever did it's been six years i still don't know what to do with that yeah um that's not something i just masturbate to the recipes you don't do that prove i don't that's so gross that's not something that you do. That is so fucking gross. With cookie batter. Ew. Don't judge me. No, just... Don't judge me. This isn't a judgment type of thing. Are you kink shaming me? That is not a kink. That isn't a kink anybody has. That's just gross. This is the last time I open up. Oh, Never stop. again. Stop. You've been doing nothing but opening up for a month. Never again. Month. I have no... What? You said you've been doing nothing but opening up for a month. And we're not going to talk that, about it. You said a bad word the other day. <sighs> Hasn't this thing been nothing but bad words? You said the baddest word of all. I know, and I apologize Thank for you. it. Thank you. No one knows what the fuck is going on right now. It's okay. We'll probably talk about it in a future podcast. Honestly, if one, we get there, one day we'll probably talk about it. But right now, it's just too much. It was a whole big thing for Austin. And long story short, it just didn't end well. 
So we don't talk about it. It's still too soon, man. I know. It's I still know. too soon, man. I know. It's you okay. said a bad word. I, I apologize. Okay. But no, I mean, we'll we'll probably talk about it one day. But right now, it's just too much. I'm on pills now. I mean, vitamins. They're in pill form. <laughs> Are vitamins in any other form? Uh, maybe. Fruit. I guess that's true. But can you get 5-HTC in... TP. TP. Can you get that in a fruit? Because if you can, I want it. No. I don't think you can get serotonin from fruit. I mean... I'm on serotonin supplements because we can't afford SSRIs. (sighs) Yay! Trump's America! Bye, Trump supporters. Good fucking riddance. Why are you listening <laughs> to this? I don't fucking care. Yeah, for real. No. I mean, I, well, no, that's dopamine. I was going to say, you could get dopamine pro- from strawberries, probably. That's bullshit. I mean, do strawberries not make you happy? Drugs make you happy. So do strawberries. Let's do all the drugs. No. Don't do drugs. Seriously. Don't do drugs. <laughs> This doesn't need to be a PSA for don't do drugs, but don't do drugs. I don't know who our audience even is. We'll find out, I guess. We don't have one. We'll find one. We literally do not have one right now. So maybe don't do drugs? If anybody listens to this, don't do drugs. Going, speaking of drugs, which he's not taking, they're just vitamins, which I guess are in pill form. So I guess technically drugs, (laughs) except you can't overdose on them. Should we find out? No. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, no. Vitamins aren't drugs, though. Vitamins. Vitamins aren't drugs. I mean. I mean. It, it's synthesized serotonin. Is that not something you can do with a drug? I wouldn't call it a drug. But there's a comment about the FDA on the bottle. Yeah, that it's not approved by the FDA. I guess that the point is technically not a drug. I mean, there's supplements. I always just in my head a drug was like something you got at a pharmacy from like a pharmacist. But I mean, like Tylenol is a drug, and you can get that over the counter. I don't know then. I think drugs are something that goes through the FDA. Otherwise, it's just a supplement. Okay, well then there. Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's it's not my. This isn't my job. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, long story short. Don't do drugs. Take supplements. And Profit. Don't do drugs. Profit. I don't know how you're profiting off of that, but go for it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not responsible. Not, we're not responsible for anything that happens. You should be a grown-ass life. adult. Why the hell are like people getting sued for grown-ass adults being stupid? Uh, because we live in Trump's America. That's not has nothing to do. That that's a, been a thing forever. That's true. That that one actually isn't Trump's America. This is just that's just America at that point. Someone needs to revamp some shit. Yeah, like if you're an adult and you do something stupid, if it's like conceivably your fault, it's just your then fault. it's just your fault. Like Wait. there's one thing. It's like if you got lied to or you got duped. Yeah, no, that's different. Like, if somebody's like, oh, hey, this thing will do this, and you're just like, okay, and then it doesn't, like, that's obviously not your fault. Yeah, of course. But if you're just kind of like, hey, I'm going to, like, rollerblade on my hands down this incline into a bat of razors, that's your fault. Yeah. That's your fucking fault. That's your being stupid. It's like the bitch who got the Winnebago and then thought that, like, cruise control equaled autopilot. Like, no, Bitch, you, that's just your fucking. You're just fucking stupid. And it's not like autopilot means leave the, you know, leave the steering wheel. Even when pilots put a plane into autopilot, they don't leave. That's not a thing that they just do. Like, I would, I would totally just leave it. No, that's why you, I can't be a pilot. That's why I can't really have any kind of a job where people's lives are in jeopardy <laughs> because i would just be like hey i'm gonna like go and get a pepsi the <laughs> next thing you know there's a fireball and i'm the bad guy yes 
At that point, yes. <laughs> Just yes. <laughs> well, maybe if somebody brought me a Pepsi. A Pepsi. I mean, I think if you're a pilot and you need something, the flight attendants will bring you something. Pepsi? Yes. Whiskey? No. You're not allowed to drink while you fly a plane. Cigars? No, you can't smoke on a plane. You know this. Being a pilot sounds like kind of boring. It sounds too stressful. I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't either. Somebody does. I mean, yeah. Somebody's just like, oh, I like the traveling. Like, but how much of how much of that I don't, traveling I don't, is traveling? I don't even really necessarily like for me. I don't even view it as like, oh, I get to travel. For me, I get to view it as like. We could just sit in a cockpit with some asshole I barely like and stare at nothing. No, you you do for fourteen hours. You do like your co-pilot. They always make sure it's someone that you like. Oh, well, then that's another reason I can't be a pilot. Why? I don't like fucking anybody. <laughs> I tolerate you on like good days. Wait, what? What? What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean? You said yourself that you wanted to be nicer to me. I am nice to you. Telling me that you tolerate me on good days isn't nice. It's all a front. Is it? Yeah. Why? It's all acting. This is all fake. (laughs) I'm fake. You're fake. Even you listening right now. You don't even. You're not even real. This isn't welcome to Night Vale. Hmm? This isn't welcome to Night Vale. Why would you try to make that? That show's already a thing. That's true. That show has so many episodes, and I quit listening to it in 2014. Hater. I just lost track of it. It's so good, though. You hater. Why am I a hater? Because you, you, you abandoned... What's his name? I want to say Jeremy. Who the fuck is Jeremy? The dude on Welcome to Night Vale. Which dude? The dude the, that made it, or the, the main guy? The, yeah. Cecil. Which one is that? The main guy. Oh. Well, I mean, you can't expect me to know that. I've literally never listened to it. Yeah, you did. When? I, listened, I had you listen to it once in 2014, and you literally fell asleep to it. Did I really? Yeah. Oh. I fell asleep listening to it once, and then it played through a bunch of episodes, and it gives you weird dreams. No, ASMR gives you weird dreams. Oh, yeah. Because of that time that you had, you were listening to ASMR, and I was asleep. And I didn't have I, headphones, so I was listening to I, ASMR. I had a fucking nightmare that, like, I had, there was a knock on the door, and there was, like, this person who was, like, in a trench coat with, like, the hat. You know the hat that people typically wear in, like, the noir films? Yeah. And, like, I couldn't see his face, and he just stood there, and he just, like, stared at me. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. That would scare the shit out of anyone, though. That sounds terrible. And I tried to just, like, can I help you? He didn't talk. Well, that's horrifying. Yeah, so you need to put headphones in from now on with that. I do. Good. I don't listen to it as much anymore. I mostly just listen to brown noise. (laughs) Which is just a very white noise. Oh. Oh. You said brown noise and I thought of brown note. Oh. (laughs) Thing that doesn't exist. (laughs) No, that doesn't exist. Um... No, brown noise. I guess there's different levels. Brown, pink, white... This is all according to relaxing melodies, though. <clears throat> this is all according to relaxing melodies. Oh well, I mean, how trustworthy are they? I'd be pretty trustworthy. They, are they for the full for the full app? You have to pay twenty bucks. So, in which I guess why I does did. that? Why does why does having to pay someone? Why does having to pay for something make that person that you're paying trustworthy? It should. Trump, you was a thing. That's true. I think with that, we should probably sign out. (laughs) We're going to leave it there. (gasps) Fuck you, Trump voters. (laughs) Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump voters. Fuck Trump's America. Okay, there. (laughs) Settle down there, kiddo. (laughs) Wait. Well, I guess that's it for us. We'll see you at your next depressive episode. Bye.